Hey saddle hunters, today I want to talk to you about aiders. You know, there's a lot of different options for aiders. I've used aiders that attach to every single step. I've used a carry as you go aider for a long, long time. But this season, I have found an aider that is extremely comfortable to use. It gives me a lot of confidence in the tree and I can use it across a variety of different climbing methods. And so I want to show it to you today. What I have here is the suader. You know, you've heard the terms nader and suader a lot in conjunction with wild edge steps, but you can use the suader all by itself for a variety of applications, especially when you pair it with a simple continuous loop of am steel. This is a 7 7 inch loop of am steel. You can get these from custom am steel products, variety of other you know companies like that that are targeting saddle hunters or you can go on Etsy and and find them for hammock applications and different things like that you can pick them up for just a couple of bucks with usually free shipping off of Etsy so that's a good place to do it the suader is really really sweet because it's got an adjustable length feature so there's this tri-glide on there and you can adjust the length to custom fit your body and to custom fit your climbing method so that's a nice feature there are some aiders out there that aren't adjustable for length the other thing i like about the suader is that it uses a foot loop at the bottom with a castration band and so it is always attached to your feet when you use this there's no more fishing for loops in the dark trying to get down the tree it's just really really easy and and i like that about it so i'm going to show you how to use this on a variety of different climbing methods we're going to start off first with the um wild edge steps and i'm going to show you how i would use it if i was using wild edge steps so here we go to use it on wild edge steps it comes with a carabiner this is not the, the one that it comes with but you need a carabiner hooked into the the loop of the suader so carabiner at the top of the suader and then you need a a stretchy bit cord okay so your stretchy cord is also attached to that top loop and then you need a second carabiner got one just down here and the second carabiner second carabiner hooks into that stretchy loop and then attaches to your belt so goes on your foot you cinch down the castration band so it's tight on your boot you want it adjusted so that it's about two feet long if you're using it with wild edge steps by itself if you're using it with the nader you want it a little bit longer than that so I'm just gonna take it shorten it up a few inches here okay so I've got the length adjusted to where I want it now all you've got to you do to use this suader with the wild edge step uh, is put your wild edge step on the tree I like it about four feet up so for me that's right about sternum height and then you simply walk up to the tree and you hook that carabiner onto the wild edge step take your toe bury it into the tree and of course if you're at climbing height you want to use your lineman's belt for, for demonstration purposes I'm gonna skip it put your knee foot into the tree and then you simply step up as you're stepping up you reach down unclip it and then you could put on a few second step to come down you simply start to lower your leg down flip the carabiner on toe into the tree step down and you're all done so that's how you would use the wild edge step or the wild edge step with the suader to get about four feet per step let me show you how i use it on a single climbing stick now okay guys so now i'm going to show you my favorite method to climb that's with climbing sticks and the suader converted essentially into a versa aider so this is where i use the continuous loop of amp steel and like i said this one's seven inches seems to work well you could probably vary that but what i do i take the loop and i just girth hitch this continuous loop of amp steel through it so now i have a loop at the top and now and then i use the stretchy cord with the carabiner okay put it on your foot cinch it down take the carabiner and you want to attach it to your belt i found running it toward the middle of my body works best 
Next, all I'm gonna do when I get to my climbing step is lift my leg up and hook that loop of am steel over my versa button and then I'm gonna climb up. The nice thing about this is when I climb up, it automatically comes off so I don't have to worry about bending down to get it. Then when I come down, I'm just gonna loop it over and put my weight into it. Let me show you. Just pick your knee up, loop it around your versa button, toe into the tree, step up. You can see that it pops, pops right off. To come down, I just lean down Hook it over the Versa button, tool into the tree. That's all there is to it. The Versa Aider style is a great way to climb. Let me show you one more way to use the suader. This next method is rather unique and I plan on doing a video to demonstrate it in its entirety, but I use the tether with Cranford strap-on rope steps to climb occasionally. I've only done it a few times, but it seems to work well and I use the suader to do this. So I can get about four feet per step. What I do is I hook up my Cranford rope step around four feet, somewhere in there, and then I usually hook my tether up, you know, a little bit high. Height is not a big deal because you can adjust with the carabiner. But what I do is I hook the suader up exactly like I would for the Versa Aider, and I clip it into the carabiner on my tether. Cinches down on the tree. So now you can see I'm a couple feet up and I can, I can adjust that length if I need be. I basically stand up into it and then I step onto my Cranford step. And there, I'm up four feet or so with my Cranford step. I would have my lineman belt on. I'd put the next Cranford on I slide the tether up the tree and do it all over again. To come down, it's the same thing. I move the tether down the tree. I like to hold it tight against the tree until I put my weight onto my foot, and then I come down. So you can use the suader, kind of like a Versa Aider, to do that climbing method. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use it as a foot sling for SRT. All right, so any of you guys that are familiar with SRT climbing know that one of the easiest ways to do it is to use kind of a, a birdie or a lifeguard or a safeguard or a grigri in conjunction with a hand descender. So when you use the hand descender, you need a foot sling coming off the back bottom of it to step into. So what you can do is use the suader as that foot swing. So basically it's, hook, it's just like it is normally. I've put a carabiner on the end of it. Behind me, I didn't bring an entire SRT setup, so I've just got my line or my tether coming down the tree as an example, and I've got my hand descender. So you hook your hand descender onto the rope, and then it's got two big holes down at the bottom. You hook your carabiner in there, and now you can use your suader as your foot sl sling for your SRT climbing and that castration band keeps it in place. So then you would, you know, push it up, step into it like you would SRT climbing. And I plan to do a video to demonstrate how that works a little bit more in the future, but that's a good climbing method as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration of the suader, which is what I think is the most versatile aider on the market. If you're only gonna buy one aider, buy the suader. You can use it for all kinds of different climbing methods. Hope this helps some of you out. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. We'll bring more videos to you in the future.